What is up, YouTube? It is Ryan from Ryan and Crystal's Reviews, back with another Battle Box random item review. Um, I just got this in today. I'm real excited about this. There's a couple items in there I'm really looking forward to. Um, so there's four items in here. A couple of these items, um, well, actually, all these items, well, a couple of these items, I missed in the regular box shipment. So I want to pick, pick them up before they got sold out. One of them, for sure, has been sold out on, on the website. And... I'm sure the other two or three probably aren't far behind, so you better get them while you still can. So here's the front of the box. Open it up. One of these items, if we open this up, you'll be able to see. Ba boom. All right, so one of these items I did a review on um, in my last video, the Grenade Soap Co. Maverick Soap, so I'm not going to do another review on that. Go check out my other video to see my review on this. I do a pretty good talk about it and stuff like that. So just set that aside. So first item, second item, we have the Going Gear Micro Stove. You see there the piezo ignition, compact collapsible portable design, adjustable valve for flame control, compatible with any 7 16 thread single butane, butane propane mixed fuel canisters. So let's pop this guy open. You can see this thing is, I mean, it's, it's tiny. It's not very big at all. Let's go ahead and pull this guy out. And you see, you know, be careful taking this out because you can see with mine, that started to bow a little bit. So this canister, this little box, is just barely big enough for this thing. All right, so this guy actually should be caught under there like that, but it popped down. So that's the valve key. There's your ignition. You got your fuel source at the bottom. And then these guys, they just slide around like this. And then you pop these guys like that, or you can leave them flat also like that. So you, know, you can just set like this. You just set that up there like that, etc. So this is a good item for your bug out bag, uh, camping bag, whatever. Um, this item is actually sold out on the website. It was $14.99. Uh, most folding stoves um, are roughly ten dollars fifteen dollars so i thought this was a really good deal at 14.99 um you can see it's very small i have a regular folding stove in my bug out bag and my bug out bag starting to get pretty heavy so i snagged this thinking you know this would be a little better source for me because it's a little smaller it'll fit in just a small pocket won't take up as much room down in the bottom as my folding stove does and this is a really cool item See the fuel source there at the bottom, yeah. So you just kind of thread that onto the bottle, set it, you know, open your valve counterclockwise, hit your ignition, chum, 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 and it'll pop open, or oh, the flame will light. So I'm assuming you could probably, you probably could use um, a lighter too if you if you really had to, to, to get it going. Let's say you're, you're out in the wild and this guy stopped working, you could still, a torch or something would, would get that going too, so. That is the Going Gear Micro Stove. So that's a pretty cool little item. So to close it, just use these things just slide across and this guy folds up and then it catches right under there just like that. And then you put it back in the box. You gotta be careful because the box is just big enough for this to fit in here. This is a really cool item. I'm really happy to get this before they sold out. So yeah, they sold out. I don't know if you probably could still go to goinggear.com. Um, that is the, let me see if they're go, goinggear.com. You probably still go to goinggear.com and maybe you could purchase it. I'm not sure, um, but it's a really cool little, little item. Let me see, it folds up in there real nice. Okay, next item is, we're gonna do this one next. This is the Lord and Field Bushcraft Spice Wallet. So this was from, this was just a recent one. This was maybe the last mission, the mission before, I can't quite remember. Um, so this is a little spice wallet. So you think, well, what's a spice wallet? What good is that? Get a little lanyard here. Let's see the Lord and Field. Collector outfitters, sorry about that. Collectors, Lord and Field outfitters there. So this is like a belt loop. 
Okay, and then these are, you know, you got the buffalo there. Good brass snaps. And then opens it up, and you got four little vials for keeping your spices. So, let's take this out here. Slide out. You see, it's kind of hard to get out. But I'm sure once you kind of in and out a few times, it'll... So you can see it's corked. Bile. So you throw some salt and pepper in this. Um, a few other little things, you know. Now that everyone's, you know, the, the restaurants are back open for corona from coronavirus, they're still kind of not operating as usual. So a lot of times you go, there's no salt and pepper on the table. You know, there's no Splenda. There's no sugar. There's no this or that. They, they keep everything kind of, you know, you got to request it. Well, fill this guy's up. Salt, pepper, sugar whatever else fill it up keep it on you throw it in your you know throw it in your purse keep it on your belt loop whatever boom you don't need to ask just a little salt a little pepper you know this guy out pop the top off get a little salt a little pepper bingo cork it back up actually so I, what I'm kind of doing what I'm thinking about doing is I will probably use mine for salt and pepper and I'll probably throw sugar in this one and a little bit of my freeze-dried coffee in this one um, just so you could you know if if I'm out out in you know in a, in a bug out situation or I've got my backpack on me I want a little bit of coffee I can throw my little freeze-dried coffee in there hot cup boom you know if you're maybe you're at a restaurant you want to drink coffee but you Maybe you don't like their coffee. Yeah. You know, a hot cup of water, a little freeze dried coffee. I like Franklin's Finest. I'm going to do a review on that stuff um, here before too long. And um, throw it in there. You got your sugar, throw a little sugar in there. I mean, you could put creamer in here too instead of the coffee, but you know, you only get four to choose from. So you got to kind of limit what you can there. So these are really nice heavy duty snaps too. These things are really good. So see the belt loop there so you can just snag it on your belt loop there and away you go so this was $29.99 on the website um it is still available on battle box i was really looking forward to getting this so the 30 dollar price tag i didn't mind um it's probably borderline 30 dollars worth honestly um it depends on you know if you get a lot of use out of it then you know you're gonna the 30 dollars is no big deal and then this thing detaches here. But you know, if you're if you're, it's just going to sit in your bug out bag and you're not going to really going to use it, then maybe the thirty dollars isn't worth it. So that pops off just like that. And then you just slide your belt loop through there. You know, tuck it on the side of your belt there and put it under your you know, tuck it on the side of your belt. You got it on your shirt. Sit down. Hey, I don't got them. Let me pop open. I need some salt. You need salt. Boom. I'll pop it open. Pull out salt, pepper, whatever you need. So that um, that is from Lord and Field. It is the Bushcraft Spice Wallet. And I said, like I said, it was $29.99 on the website. So a little over $30 with tax. Let's clamp this guy back in here. This guy is kind of difficult to get on there. Actually, it was easier to get on there than it was to take it off. So you got a little lanyard here too, so you could, you know, if you wanted to use that, you could use it that way. So, all right, let's get this back just a little bit here. So we got a little more room for the last item. So our last item is the Gerber Suspension NXT Multi-Tool. You get the Gerber logo there. Gerber, guaranteed, designed and engineered in Oregon. There's their, their address, website, gerbergear.com. So I had a multi-tool that I, I bought at Walmart. Lost it. So then, which, you know, you'll find with me is more than likely going to happen to anything I buy. I'm probably going to lose it at some point. And I do, I do find them, but I'm probably going to lose them at some point, so... Oh, so the packaging comes with. So it doesn't come with a sheath, which is kind of disappointing. Um, or a belt 
anything to put on your belt. There's some other stuff in here. I think these are like directions. I don't know what you would need directions for a multi-tool, but um, that's the warranty. And then this looks like some sort of caution. Yeah. So that's just that's just kind of trash. So yeah, so you got you got your Gerber multi-tool here. So I lost mine, um, and recently it was just found after I bought this. So, you know. But this is probably going to be in my everyday carry. So pops open like this. There's your pliers, and they are spring-assisted, which is nice. My other ones weren't spring-assisted. Um, so, you know, it's nice that they're spring-assisted. And then you've got... I don't think you got anything in there, do you? No, there's nothing in there. Nothing in there. The other one actually had a, had a screwdriver bit in on that side. So everything else is on the outside here. So we've got a Phillips. And that's your little, to unlock it, you slide down. Or you push down. Push forward, push back. Not really sure. Push down. Okay, you push down a little harder. And that takes it, yeah. So you gotta push down a little bit, okay. So there's your your Phillips. You got a small file, which could also be used as a blade there. Blade, that's really more of a blade. The file's right here. that out and then the file you got your file and that's also a um, flathead and then that looks that's got some writing on it I guess it's a little measuring thing you got looks like it says half inch let me see if I can get it in focus here yeah half inch 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 and a half one centimeter two centimeters three centimeters. so I guess it's like a little measuring thing but you got a flathead right there so you got a little knife which is really sharp flathead screwdriver or a Phillips screwdriver flathead with a little measuring thing there. Uh, yeah, pair of scissors. And then we got a, another smaller flathead, a can opener, which I guess in the backside could be used as a bottle opener, I'm sure. Let's try what it's for. And then another flathead. That's more of a traditional flathead. So you've actually got three flatheads on this um, on this on this multi-tool. That's kind of odd, honestly. Normally you only get one of them, but actually we've got three on this. Normally you get a bunch of Phillips. At least the ones in the past that I've had get more Phillips. Um, so you got your scissors. Away because I just so that's a, actually I was expecting another knife somewhere. Um, actually, it might be right there. Yeah, there it is. It was hiding from me. So I get a longer knife, a little ser serrated knife there, but it's not that's not really that sharp. That, however, is really sharp. Actually, I just might have just sliced my thumb a little bit. So you got that. You got the you got a Phillips head which looks like it's magnetized. Um, I don't have anything to, to kind of, I don't have a screw around here anywhere to, to use it on. You got your knife, another flathead, can opener, bottle opener, another sharp little edge there, flathead, and then your scissors, and I, that one I gotta, I gotta unlock. And they flip up like that, and fold down. Yeah, that could be, you know, definitely want to make sure that gets back in there the way it should because that guy was sticking up. When you run your hand down the side of it to pick it up, then that might hurt. So you got a pretty good heavy-duty belt clip here. So you could snap that on your belt and basically just hang on your belt that way. So instead of having a sheath or a case, it's just got the regular belt loop. You can stick it in your pocket too. That's probably what I'll do with it, most of it. It's probably go in the pocket. So that is the Gerber multi-tool.
And that is our items. So I'll take those stupid things out. Put the box back in there. So we had four items. We had the grenade soap co, which is $8.99. You can go look at my other video for the review. You've got this, which was $14.99. You got the spice wallet which was 30 and then we didn't talk about the price of the multi-tool, which was $37 even. So 37 bucks for a multi-tool, I mean, it's a nice one. It's it's definitely worth it. It's, that's about the going rate. I think I bought the one um, that I got from Walmart that was just kind of a generic one. I think it was $30. So, you know, this is a pretty good little, you got a little pair of pliers there, that's nice. Spring assisted, that's really good. Um, so 37 bucks for this, That's that's a pretty good deal in my opinion. You know, so the Gerber logo there, suspension NXT. Yeah, really heavy duty made, nicely made, real strong. Not that, not not too heavy, weight wise, but really well made. So that is our four items that we got. We got in. Um, go check out my other videos about. Uh, I just shot one where I, we got we got this guy, the spider cone knife in it. And a few other items. And uh, I believe the next, we got some boxes coming in here soon in the next few weeks. So we'll be doing some reviews on that and look for some of our other reviews. Chris will be doing some reviews here shortly. Um, and I hope everyone has a great day. And we'll see you next time.